Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, watching the live feed. My name is Heinrich from Austria, and with me is Adam, and he's just about to get ready. Same as Denmark is about to get ready. This is going to be an exciting pull for the 10v10. The first fight is Denmark and France. And that's right from the beginning one of the most interesting fights, I think, in this pool. And we have such a great crowd here. The Danes, very polite, very nice people. Yeah, the stadium is relaxed. packed with people. I think we're going to see some serious action going on now. But the home crowd is really going forward when they see the home team. So, Representing your own country yeah. in your own country at the World Championship. I mean, that's amazing. I said that before in the morning when there was the one-on-one -on -one sword and shield fighting. It's the, the Danish, their Danish fighter. He was just pumped up. It's like the whole crowd was cheering for him. And it's like, what could be? What could be better than being the champion of your country at the World Championship in your country? Right? Yes, it really gives you something, some extra air here. The Danish captain, Kasper, yeah. he's positioning his fighters. France looks ready. Yeah, France is here with a good team. Yeah, they were really strong in the fives. They had really strong people in the singles so far. But they've lost their captain due to a red card, didn't they? Oh, did they? I didn't saw that. <laughs> so the Knights Marshal is counting people to avoid situations with 10 or 9 or 10, whatever. Yeah, I think and the main marshal here from Ireland. The fighters are saluting each other and we're on for the first round. Deeper lines in the French team. They have a great runner. He tried something, but... Tries to break through. But he couldn't yet. And we have a breakthrough from the Danish and from the French. And the first France. First. French down in the middle, in the center, and we have what we have so often in 10 versus 10, two groups on the opposite side of the list. Another French going down, great run, oh, and the Danish is down. Danish. A lot of clinching on the fence. And now the Halbots, the pole weapons, go to work. Another take along. From our perspective, it looks like France is one guy ahead. Oh, the, look at that French fighter. His surcoat is totally ripped to pieces. Yeah, France surely a bit ahead here. It's so dusty, you can barely see anything. Oh, and now very heavy hits. It's four on two, and I think it's over. Yes. Oh, it's actually there was might it five be. on two, so it's five on one. Yes. First round goes to France. I think the crowd hasn't warmed up really yet. It's the first fight of the 10 versus 10 pool, and they had yet to see it's their home team here. And start supporting them a bit. It's quite uh, common that pay, uh, fighters or teams have problems in the first round. They need to they need to get the adrenaline in their blood to yes. really move. But I think it was a good fight. Let's see if Denmark's exchanging some of the fighters. Yeah, it was a good fight. It wasn't over too quickly. 
As we had two teams who really could hold their own here. And there are different teams. Some teams don't cope well when they lose the first round. Others really needed to get into a competition. Yep. Danish fighter asking the crowd yeah. to cheer up. How to do it. And Danish captains in again. Changing fighters. France looks ready. Oh, and <laughs> the French runner, he removed his destroyed surcoat. <laughs> it's a guy in black. He did really well in the five on five. Yeah, he's an incredible runner. I think we're about to start the second round. Oh, there comes the crowd cheering for Denmark. And we're the French again, thin bread line. And the runner is off, not engaging yet. Looking for opportunities. Oh, and a great takedown for him, yes. So it's nine on nine. Yes, immediately a French fighter falls down. Another and main. advantage for France. And we ah, equal again, I think. That's a pity. Really hard to count with all the dust. In a there. slight advantage for Denmark. That's the moment where they and the advantage is gone. It's a fast game. It's to, oh, there's another pair in the left corner. Yes. The French giant. Yeah, the right. And it's the victory for France. Yes. That was the right corner, actually, from the viewpoint of the camera. I still remember Denmark's debut in the 10v10. Well, actually, when the 10v10 was introduced in 2015 for the IMCF World Championship in Marburg, they were incredible. Yeah. <laughs> a very good moment. I think Actually, we were, yeah. <laughs> Team Austria, we were the first ones to fight them in the 10v10. They just opened us like a beer can. <laughs> they, they were so strong and so fast. It was really crazy. Yeah, it is a good team. And on a good day, they can beat anybody. Yes, absolutely. But here the They have a tough French competition within their country. And I like just leaving the list together, you know? Yeah. Really, it helps the team over a tough, lost competition. That is good. Yeah. You hear who's on next? Do we have actually a list somewhere here? Okay, here we go. Oh, they, that's an interesting situation. Yes, because we're actually in the 10 versus 10. Germany and Sweden prepare. So we but have a three on three fight now. Yeah, I think the girls, they didn't get through with the whole competition. They oh, really? Three on okay, so now we're having.